News 4 Jax has confirmed the home where eight-month-old Carson Mangum drowned is owned by a Jacksonville firefighter. It's not clear, however, if the firefighter and the child are related. This is a picture of Carson given to us by his family. Police say he was at a family gathering at a home in Ocean Way Friday night. The next morning, his body was found in the pool. The door to the house was slightly open. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating. That's where Channel 4's Ashley Harding joins us now live. Ashley, have you been able to talk with the family at all? Yes, Mary, I did very briefly over the phone, and as you can imagine, they're just heartbroken that this happened, but JSO says they're still trying to figure out exactly what happened that day, but I also talked to a child safety expert. She says there are lots of things parents can do to protect their kids and prevent something else from happening. His family was too emotional to speak to us on camera, but they say this picture sums up everything about eight-month-old Carson Mangum. His grandmother tells me he was precious, and they're devastated by his death. Police said he was in his playpen Friday night, and the next morning he was found in the pool. The number one killer of kids in the state of Florida um, is drowning kids under the age of five. Cynthia Dennis with Safe Kids Northeast Florida says stories like Carson's are all too common and prevention is key. She says a good place to start is the door leading to the backyard. And what is recommended generally is putting a lock way up high, um, about three inches from the top frame of the door, so that even if a child could drag a stool or something, they still probably couldn't reach up that high to manipulate the lock. Other options include putting alarms on doors and windows and placing four-sided isolation fences around your pool. Above all, don't underestimate what your little one can do. You know your child, know that young children are very capable and that they're watching older people. And one of their favorite things to do is to do what the older people do. As family members grieve, they're also asking for help. They've set up this GoFundMe account to help pay for funeral and burial costs. In the meantime, authorities are still piecing together everything that happened that day, and the Department of Children and Families is also investigating. In these types of cases, what we need to do is talk with the parents, uh, talk with relatives and other people who know the child to get a better idea of what the child's living situation had been and if there had been any other concerns regarding that child's safety. Now, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says they're still waiting for final reports from the medical examiner's office, and charges have not been filed. But if you do want to donate to that GoFundMe account, you can find a link to it on our website, newsforjax.com. I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.